tell us about the um, Girl Scouts of America's latest uh, venture into yeah, sexual uh, venture. I call that. it venture in, venture into sexual anarchy. Right, is what I call it. But go ahead. You know, it's 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 too bad because you know I was a Girl Scout Tim, and um, and we've noticed since the seventies, really since the, I, you know I was a Girl Scout, I guess in the eighties, but. Um, even starting back then, it was starting to lurch to the left. Um, they took God out of the pledge. They stacked their board with liberals. Today, they hold up feminist, uh, you know, ultra feminist icons like, you know, Gloria Steinem and and Wendy Davis, who was a pro-abortion uh, member in Texas, um, as heroes to their girls. They refer them to lefty organizations in their handbook. They don't give the same credit on badges for work for, you know, if a girl wants to go volunteer for a crisis pregnancy center, but if she wants to go work for Planned Parenthood, by the way, that's all good. And now this latest thing is just one more slap in the face to Christian parents, is that, and that is now you don't have to be a girl to be a member of Girl Scouts. You can just be, you know, questioning your gender or, you know, a, a boy who would like to be a girl. And I don't belittle that because that's a real issue it's the american psychological association calls it gender dysphoria and it's it's real and it's it must be so so difficult for parents and and children who, who are dealing with that i think we see more of that among adults certainly bruce jenner got a lot of attention on the issue recently and i and i think this is a place frankly for the church to be the church and for you know people that feel that are marginalized in society for us to love them. But we also can't lose our minds. And as parents, you know, you've got this issue of like, okay, how does this work? I mean, I don't, I don't believe, and I was, I said this to Elizabeth Hasselbeck, and I think it's what she saw. It's like, I, look, no one thinks that tossing a little boy who's confused about his gender into a tent full of middle school girls is a good idea because there are entire books written about how brutal they are. Now, we need them to – no one, no one should ever be bullied, and everyone should be treated with kindness and love, but, you know, there are some realities. 